Well, hey, Church, welcome back. Uh, we took a, a little bit of a hiatus on our we conversations, um, but uh, we are back with our youth pastor, Pastor Jay. Yay! Excited to have you, Jay, with us. And uh, this past week, we uh, looked at, if you haven't yet watched it, we talked about the final piece of the armor, which was the sword of the spirit. Mm -hmm. Talked all about the Bible. And mm -hmm. so, Jay, as we get started, just share with us maybe like a big overview, bird's eye view of mm -hmm. your take on spiritual war. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's always been something interesting because... There are so many different perspectives that you can hear from people, but uh, spiritual warfare is incredibly important. Mm -hmm. Like it's something that I think sometimes people will avoid mm -hmm. because they're either unsure about it or mm -hmm. it can be a scary topic mm -hmm. at times. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's definitely something that we should we should uh, learn more about. We should study about, and uh, yeah, it's super important to uh, learn it. I love it because mm -hmm. it's happening regardless yeah, yeah. of whether or not we right. are mm -hmm. accepting it. You know, there is mm -hmm. spiritual warfare that's right. taking place. Yeah. Uh, let us know some mm -hmm. of the reasons you think that it's challenging for us mm -hmm. uh, to just get into God's word. Yeah. yeah um, one of the things that uh, I can use myself as an example. Yeah, one yeah. of the things that I've found in my own life is uh, that I'm a creature of habit. Mm. And if I get into the habit of reading the word, mm -hmm. then I usually stay in that habit. But yeah. if I skip a day or two days or three days, mm. then I will very quickly get out of it. And then mm. it's difficult to start it up again. And right. so I think that that's something that, that people just in general, if they, if they don't set aside time very intentionally, mm. then, uh, it doesn't happen. Yes, that's true. So how do you overcome mm -hmm. that? You know, mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. say you get out of the habit, yeah. you know, I know for me, if mm -hmm. I get out of the habit, sometimes I can be discouraged, yeah. you know, how do you overcome that? Yeah. Um, one of the things that I found really helps is, uh, being accountable with other people. Maybe, maybe yeah, like I start that. a Bible plan with yeah. other people yeah, or, uh, something like that. Or, uh, I know recently, uh, I know you're a huge fan of Craig Groeschel. Mm -hmm. He just came out yeah. with a book, yeah. uh, that's 365 days. Right. And it's like kind of a devotional thing. And right. so I just bought that audio book. Nice. And so I can listen to it like on my way yeah. to work here. Yeah, cool. And so uh, just finding what ways works for me, because yeah. I also like uh, instead of reading, I like listening. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so that's something that works for me. And so that helps nice. when Such I find point. ways. Yeah, I our, that. yeah, our mm -hmm. oldest daughter, she'll uh, use the YouVersion Bible app yeah. and she'll be with friends and they'll mm -hmm. highlight verses and they'll yeah. have stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, so church, Pastor Jay and I have similar backgrounds, grew up Baptist, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. really with, and, and I don't say that negatively, but with a strong <laughs> yep. love for the Bible. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. so why do you mm -hmm. think, and just maybe from your upbringing or mm -hmm. just some background, wh why is the, why sh should the Bible be important mm -hmm. to us? Like what is about yeah. the Bible that needs to have a high mm -hmm. place of priority in our life? Yeah. Well, the thing that I always think of is uh, I think of uh, in Matthew, in the book of Matthew, when Jesus is tempted by by the devil, mm -hmm. uh, then every single time he's tempted, then yeah. Jesus quotes scripture back to him. And yeah. and Jesus using that, being our example, yeah. that just shows us if Jesus used scripture to fight temptation and to fight against the devil, then what does that say about what we should be right. doing? Yeah. That's good. And so, so learning, learning the Bible and, uh, just being able to think about things like if I'm having a hard time, then, uh, mm -hmm. then remembering what the Bible says and remembering how, uh, how it encourages me, how it challenges me at times. Um, That's good. yeah. Okay. So I That's love good. that. Just talking about mm -hmm. our daughter, we don't mm -hmm. always get a chance to speak to mm -hmm. our youth pastor. <laughs> um, so just for some mm -hmm. of us that have yeah. kids at home, mm -hmm. um, how do we engage our kids? Um, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. desire to read God's word. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, I, I think that when you, uh, if you want to engage your kids with the, the Bible, I think that it's an opportunity to build your family dynamic. Mm -hmm. If you, uh, because your kids will see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so if you are intentionally reading the word, then that will make your kids also want to do it because they, whether, whether you know it or not, mm -hmm. kids are always watching. Right. And, um, and so you want to use the influence that you have. Um, mm -hmm. and so that might even look like maybe just setting aside a few minutes when you're getting ready for work and you're just like, Hey, I'm eating breakfast right now. You're awake. You're getting ready for school. Let's go through something really quick. Let's listen mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. a chapter on the Bible app or something yes. like that. And even if it's small and you don't have a chance to, talk about it in depth or right. something 
then that can be really helpful. Yeah. I can't think of how many times I've heard, um, you know, great preachers talk about yeah. actually having an opportunity to see their parents, yeah. um, that they Absolutely. would set aside time, that they would mm-hmm. read God's word, that they mm-hmm. would pray, and yeah. how that impacted their life. Yeah. So I love what you just said. Yeah, um, really appreciate that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I know. I think parents, they, we desire, mm-hmm. we, we hope that our kids would read mm-hmm. scriptures on their own and, yeah. and would, you know, whether mm-hmm. it's memorize or just even yeah. meditating on a verse. Mm-hmm. So um, we talked about the sword mm-hmm. of the spirit. Um, and so what, f- maybe from your perspective mm-hmm. or maybe sharing with, with our church, uh, how does the Holy Spirit play a role in mm-hmm. us as we read scripture? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the Holy Spirit, it's, one of the ways that God speaks to us. Okay. Um, there's so many different ways that God speaks to us, but but the Holy Spirit and the Word mm-hmm. are two of the most common. And mm-hmm. and so, I mean, I don't know about you, but there's there are times where I'll read the Bible and I'll be just like, what on earth is this even saying? And mm-hmm. it's confusing. Right. And so that it's times like that when I, I need to just take time and I need to go, okay, I read this, right. but I think I need a little bit more time. Yeah. Let's, I just take a couple more minutes yeah. and then I pray. I ask mm-hmm. God, hey, would yeah. God, will you, like, I want to meditate on this. I want, I want you to help me. Right. Yeah. And, um, and then when I get through that, then it, you, it almost always helps. Nice. Yeah. And like, like if, if you ask God to speak to you, like yeah. if you, if you're just like, Holy Spirit, please help, then it, the Holy Spirit's going to help. Yeah. Yeah, nice. absolutely. Yeah, that's good. I love that you're saying how relational reading God's word is. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes one of the things you were talking about on Sunday was um, we can task list, you know, where Mm -hmm. we're just checking off. I read my scripture, Um, but you're talking about, I actually need him to help to eliminate things. You know, he explains (laughs) things, you know, as I'm going along. So I really appreciate that too. That's good. Yeah, I feel like if we just relegate Bible reading to like mm-hmm. a task, yeah. then we're not inviting the Holy Spirit in. Yeah. And really yeah. the Holy Spirit wants to slow things down, mm-hmm. yeah. illuminate our path. Psalm 119, we're reading as a church yeah. this week, yeah. talks about, you know, lighting our path and illuminating our way. And so mm-hmm. any final thoughts on uh, yeah. Bible reading scriptures? Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, the thing that I always think of, I, I so... Yeah. Uh, we were talking about families and parents just a few minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, I had a conversation with my parents a couple weeks ago or something, and we were talking about we were talking about a topic and and uh, something that I was having a hard time with, and I was like, "Will you help me with this?" And mm-hmm. just asking for their advice. And yeah. and then there was a, a point where I said uh, I I had quoted a verse back to them, uh, yeah. and then they were like, oh yeah, that was the verse that I was going to say. And then yes. I was like, yeah, I know you've told me this so many times. <laughs> Every time I hear it, yeah. I hear it in, I hear it in, in their voice. Their voice. And nice. so, um, even, and then they were like, oh really? We didn't even know that you actually yeah. paid attention. That's and, cool. oh, and that. those things yeah. That's cool. as, uh, just to encourage you parents, yeah. your kids definitely do listen, yeah. even if they, don't seem like they're listening, even if you don't think that they're listening, um, they hear what you say and uh, it makes an impact. And so uh, I think that, and scripture is no different. Yeah. Um, when, when you learn scripture and you memorize scripture and you're in scripture as a parent or as an adult, as a grandparent, as a guardian, as a sibling, whoever it is, then it makes a difference on the younger people. Every single person has influence, uh, whether they realize it or not. That's good. I love it. Yeah, the word of God does not return <laughs> void. Yeah, absolutely. That's what so, Isaiah I mean, says. It doesn't yeah. come back empty. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes parents, you're like wondering, well, what I don't have to say. Maybe you pray and mm-hmm. quote scripture um, mm-hmm. over your kids. Even, absolutely. you know, when they're not there, you just go in their, in their space and you begin praying over that. Mm-hmm. And so... Um, I just I love that. Thanks, Pastor Jay, yeah. for coming. Thank you yeah, so much. absolutely. Thanks really for joining you. us. We yeah. always love talking about uh, spiritual war and the yeah. Bible. Yeah. And so, church, if you have not yet read Psalm 119, 10 minutes. That's all it takes. 10 mm-hmm. minutes this week. Make sure you read all those verses. Begin to read, meditate, memorize, and then use it in your life. And we'll see you next week.